Matt Chambers is live this morning at the Magic House in Kirkwood, where visitors are raving over a new exhibit. I don't know if you had a chance to talk with him before he left, but he was a little giddy. Yeah, He's okay. very excited about his special guest. <laughs> uh, I think even more so than he is about the, uh, the whole exhibit. Oh, look at he's rocking the boat. <laughs> That's right. Yo ho, yo ho, splashing bubbles, life for me. Okay, no more singing, I promise. Maybe for my next guest. Can you blame me for fanboying just a little bit? First of all, let me set the scene for you here. We're at the Magic House. This is a brand new exhibit just opened last month. It's called Splashing Bubbles Dive In Linda Finn. But it's based on a hit PBS show, which John Tartaglia created, by the way. Hello. Called Splashing Bubbles. John, I have to ask you. Yes. What is it like? Because you, you created this television show, and it is 3D in its own way. It's yes. advanced digital animation. It's the Jim Henson Company. It's yes. great quality. But this is tactile. This mm -hmm. is real 3D. This is something that kids can play on. What is yes. it like for you to walk in and see your creation turned into this? Completely bizarre. Because, <laughs> you know, in the, the way we film the show, it's all inside of a computer. Right. And it lives in that world. And then you, you, when you make television, you put it out there and you hope people are watching it. And then to come and see it brought to life like this in such a brilliant, perfect way, and then to see kids and parents interacting with it, it just, it actually makes me really emotional. It's like, it's like, oh my That's God, it, it's real. You and know? it's a testament to the, to the great talent that they have here in St. Louis yeah. at the Magic House, right, for helping your vision sort of become a tactile reality. Yeah, this is the third uh, Jim Henson Company uh, exhibit that we've done. We did Dinosaur Trains to the Science Kid, and now Splash and Bubbles, and so they just do, no one does it better. No one does it better than them, and it's just, it's, it's really amazing. It's, it's like watching your baby go to college. Yeah. You're like, it's real, it's actually happening. I know you have many passions, obviously, animation and, and puppetry and storytelling, especially when it comes to kids, but some adult work too. Mm -hmm. What do you hope that kids get out of both Splash and Bubbles and this exhibit, Splash and Bubbles Dive In, Linda Finn? What's, the, what's your goal here? Well, we wanted to make a show that uh, let kids relate to the ocean and understand the ocean. You know, there's that, there's that feeling that to empathize with something, you have to understand it. Right. Uh, and obviously right now, we need to in, really inform kids and their parents about what's happening in the ocean. And so we wanted to make a world where kids could interact, understand the ocean a little bit better, see how they could make a difference in the world, the little things that they can do. Right. Um, and so I think what the exhibit does really well is it obviously lets you kind of immerse yourself in the world, no pun intended, <laughs> uh, and get to know the characters and play with your friends, but also really get an understanding of how kids can make an impact on the ocean today. And I'm so glad you brought that up because I really feel like even since you and I were kids, we're dealing now with the first younger generation to have that kind of integrated into their education. Yes. I think we're going to see more and more interactive exhibits like this that really bring those points of conservation and, yeah. and pollution home. But so. in a super fun way. Yeah, absolutely. You know, right. like that, that's what they do really well here. Yes, and it's so cool. We're, this guy, I, I want to talk about your history a little bit, too. We'll oh, do gosh. that coming up in a few minutes. 16 years old, was hired by Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. Avenue Q on Broadway wins a Tony. He's been on stage at the, at the uh, Muni here in St. Louis. He'll be directing there again this summer. So we'll talk about that in a few minutes, if you don't mind. Sounds good. Excellent. I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, got to remind everybody, this exhibit is in place right now. You can come out today with the kids and enjoy it. Again, it's Splash and Bubbles, Dive In, Linda Finn. It'll be here at the Magic House through May 12th, and it is totally free with your museum admission. Mm. One of the things we didn't touch on is that uh, I'm very envious of John for <laughs> his voice acting ability. Ah. So when we come back, we might have a little bit of fun with that. i got to warm up. Guys. Yeah, warm it up. Warm it up. <laughs> Wake up. Woo! He's got like four <clears throat> careers to to back to fall back on. He can. And he's good <laughs> at all of them. Yeah, really good. Uh, all right, Matt, we'll check back in mm -hmm. with you. Thank you.